Hey there, I'm Alex, and today we're going to be checking out three AI note takers for your future Google Meet meetings. We're going to be checking out Fireflies.ai, Blue Dot, and lastly, Tactic. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So to start off this video, we're going to check out Fireflies.ai. This is what it looks like on the home page. On the left side, you can see that we have our menu panel. In the middle, we have all of our meeting transcriptions. This is some of our past meetings. And on the right side, particularly the bottom right, you can see that I have a upcoming meeting at 9 25 p.m. and it is there synced from my google calendar into fireflies.ai and so we're gonna jump straight into that meeting and over here you can see that fireflies.ai is waiting to be admitted so what fireflies.ai does is it sends a bot it automatically sends a bot to your meeting and there in the waiting room you can see that the bot is waiting and we need to admit it and that's it so over here i'm doing my talking i'm recording everything is going good but you could see that i have kind of another participant in the meeting and that's the fireflies.ai bot so some people might find that as a downside because they need to manually admit the bot into the meeting it could take some time and then they'd have to explain to all of their participants what's going on, why this person, this participant is inside the meeting. Now, the nice thing about it is, let's say you do want to record your meeting, but you happen to forget to manually record it with another software or even Fireflies.ai if you decide to not let the bot automatically join the meeting then you may forget to record your very important meeting. And so having a bot join your meeting is really nice because some people, they may forget and the bot is going to be reminding you in the waiting room, hey, admit me, I need to record your meeting. And so that could be an upside. And so jumping back into the Fireflies.ai homepage, you can see that we have a live meeting going on. If we click the purple button, we're gonna have this pop-up and here you can see that the test meeting is running and for the duration of how long it is running. Now, one thing to note about Fireflies AI is that it needs to record or be in the meeting for a minimum of three minutes to be able to get the transcription. And so here I am, it's doing its thing in the background, getting my voice, getting the transcription. And so once we wait for the transcription to have fully loaded, once we reach the three minute mark, we could check out Fireflies AI itself and what it really entails. So on the left side, you can see that we have our meeting panel. Here you can see all of the past meetings that you've done, the date, the time, the duration, which is pretty sweet. You could also head over to the playlist section and here you could create playlists just like this. You could enter a playlist name. So maybe you'd like to create a playlist for the month of September and anyone with the link or only your teammates or yourself, a private playlist can access it. Here you're gonna be able to create the playlist and you're gonna be able to add some of your meetings. And another cool thing about Fireflies.ai is not only can it integrate with Google Meet, but here you can see all of the softwares that Fireflies.ai is able to integrate with. We have Google Meet, as I mentioned, you have Just Call, Microsoft Teams, Notion, Skype, WebEx, Zoom, Workplace. So you can really see that there is a lot of integrations that Fireflies.ai supports. And so if you're in the market for a good AI note taker, this could be the one. And so here we are. It's been about four minutes that the meeting has been running. And all I need to do is click the end button. And here I could either leave the call or end the call for everyone. Now, one thing to note is that the bot is going to stay in the meeting if you leave the call because it's just going to be running in the background if there's other people still in the meeting. If you end the call for everyone, or if all the participants leave, then Fireflies.ai bot will leave and you'll be able to retrieve your transcript. And so for the purpose of this video, we're just going to click end the call for everyone. That way the meeting is going to be completed. And so another cool feature on the menu panel is here on the left where you see meeting status. Here I can see that I have that test meeting that I completed and you can see that it is currently loading. And so now to be able to retrieve my transcript, I'm going to head back over to meeting here on the menu panel and you're going to be able to see test meeting, the one that I completed September 8th just now. And so if I click it, you're going to be able to see that on the right side, I have my transcript. You can see that the whole transcript is there with some timestamps and I also have the whole audio track that I can scroll through, which is pretty sweet. Now a paid feature that Fireflies.ai offers 
is a GPT powered summary. And so obviously here you can see that you can upgrade if you'd like some important keywords, meeting overview, action items, and so forth. And Fireflies is able to generate that if you have an upgraded plan. Another upgraded feature for Fireflies.ai is the video. And so if you upgrade, you are also able to get the webcam footage, the video footage of your Google Meet meeting. On the left side, you can see that you have a few AI filters and sentiments. And so here you're able to track the percentage of how the meeting went. 12% was negative, 35% was positive as an example. And so this really gets you to have a better feel of what was happening in your meeting. And you could see the speaker talk time. Let's say there were multiple speakers. You'd see speaker one, speaker two, and so forth. And how much percentage of the whole meeting, one speaker spoke over the other. And so now we're going to be checking out our second AI note taker, which is Blue Dot. And so once you install it from the Chrome web store right over here, you could jump straight into your Google Meet meeting. And on the top right, you're going to see that Blue Dot. And all you have to do is click Start Capture and that check mark shows that your meeting is currently being recorded. Isn't that sweet? And so yes, there is no bot. Blue Dot is bot free. And it's very nice because obviously it's recording. It's doing its thing in the background. On the bottom here, you can see that it is active. And so that could be a sweet option for the people that don't want to have to manually admit a bot into their meeting and have to explain to everyone what's going on and so forth. And another cool thing about Blue Dot is it does not need a minimum amount of running time for the meeting to be able to process the transcript. And so all I have to do is click the hang up button and the call for everyone. And then a new tab pops up right after I click the hang up button. And here I get brought straight to the whole transcript. Now, yes, as you guys can see, I automatically have my name recognized over here on the right. And you can see that the transcript is over here. It separates it by paragraph, which is easier to read. And I also have a video of the meeting free of charge with audio. It gets highlighted through the transcript and I could also just scroll through the video and here it scrolls through the transcript. So it allows me to keep track of what was going on in my transcript, in my video with the audio and so forth, which is awesome. Now here on the middle panel, you could see an overview of the whole meeting and you could also get some action items and timestamp for timestamp, you get kind of a summary of what happened throughout your meeting. You could also change your template from general notes to possibly sales note if you're in a sales meeting. And here you're gonna get a new overview of the meeting except instead of it being generalized, you're gonna have it more specific towards sales. And here you go, just like you can see, it does it beautifully. On the right side, you could see some insights. You could see the talking ratio. So obviously if you have multiple speakers, you're gonna be able to see who talked the most and the least and everything in between throughout your meeting. You have some interaction stats, the longest monologue, my talking speed, how many questions I asked, which is super cool. Now, let's say you'd like to write a follow-up email after your meeting and you're just sitting there thinking, hmm, what should I write? What should I do? Well, look no further because on the top right, yes, you see that right. I can just click generate AI email and guess what it does. It generates an AI email. Everything I talked about in the Google Meet meeting, Blue Dot takes it, flips into an email and I can send it to whoever. Or let's say I'd like to change something instead of having my full name. I'd like to edit it to Alex. That easy. And I send it away to my teammates. Now you might wonder what does Blue Dot itself look like? So this is what it looks like on the homepage. You can see that I have all of my meetings right up here. And a cool thing about Blue Dot is that they've provided us with kind of some tutorial videos on the homepage to guide us, guide us through the whole software. You can see that over here, you have that tutorial video about the email follow-ups. You could also record your screen with Blue Dot, which is pretty cool because here on the left panel, you can see the screen recordings. And here on the Blue Dot, if I click record screen, and after I do all that, it saves it right over here. So you can access your screen recordings if you'd like. It does screen, it does audio, and it also gives you a transcript of the meeting as well as some meeting notes right over here. There's the meeting notes. On the left panel here, if you click meetings, you're going to be able to access all of your meetings. And on the left side, you can also see updates and under activity, you're able to track 
when your meetings have been uploaded and are ready to watch. And so the last and final tool that we're going to be checking out today is Tactic. It's a Chrome extension, and once you add it to Chrome, all you have to do is head over to your meeting, Google Meet meeting, and click Join Now. And what Tactic will do is it'll automatically start transcribing your meeting. So the Chrome extension is working in the background and it's doing its thing. You can see that the live transcription is going on. And here you could also write some notes. So let's say over here, I'll write some notes. And here I could keep track of what's going on to my meetings. I could add some bullet points if I want. I could say that, um, let's say I was talking in a meeting with Richard and he mentioned something good. And over here, you know, it just helps me keep track, general notes and so forth. So that's just a little small example. I have my live transcript going on and you can see that it's transcribing in English. Maybe you'd like to change that to another language. And here you're going to be able to see all the languages. So I speak French. I could turn the language of the meeting to French. Et voilà, je suis en train de parler français. Et c'est en train de marcher juste ici. And so what I just said was I am speaking French and you can see that it is working right over here. And so now I'm going to change that back into English and you can see that there you go. It is working in English. So that's pretty cool. You could transcribe your meeting in a bunch of different languages. You could also highlight things. You could also uncheck it, unhighlight it, and you could add some action item right over here. So let's say when I was speaking French, I add an action item with the check mark. So you could really see that's an interactive little piece of equipment for your Google Meet meetings. You could see the whole screenshot. So let's say you'd like to take a screenshot of the meeting. You can see that the screenshot just happened and that kind of maybe helps you keep track of something funny that a friend did or a team member did or something important. Maybe somebody's sharing their screen and you'd like to take a screenshot of it and have a kind of memory of what happened. That's really good. You could also pause the transcription right over here and you can see that it is not transcribing anymore and you could unpause it and here you can see that it is continuing. So it's an interactive tool for the people that like to type very quickly, that like to have a live transcription and that just automatically starts recording bot free. And so all I have to do to get the transcription and to kind of see the whole thing after is click leave call and the call for everyone. And what happens, a new tab pops up and here you can see that I have the whole meeting transcription. You have the whole transcription right over here. You can see right here where I spoke French. You can see that I highlighted it as an action item. And maybe you are speaking with somebody It is a multi-language meeting, somebody speaking in Spanish and you're like, uh oh, I'm not going to be able to understand what they say. All you have to do is hit that action item like I did. And now you're able to see, oh, there's the action item. I copy it, pop it into Google Translate and you could understand what the meeting or that little part of the meeting was about later on. So I find that like a very cool feature. It's pretty impressive that they are able to do it in real time. You can see that screenshot over here and overall it looks pretty cool. You know, you can see at the bottom where I said after you click leave and you can see that the transcription ended. There is a little typo and there are some parts like right over here where and you, the Y in you is capitalized. It shouldn't be because it's in the middle of a sentence. So the transcription isn't always accurate and you also don't have an audio version. So there is no audio, there is no video, it is just the transcription. So that could be a downside, especially when the transcription isn't always accurate. But overall, for a live transcription that works in multiple different languages, it's cool. It does the job. And on the right side, once again, you can see the speaker stats. Let's say there were multiple people. You'd be able to see the percentage of how many people spoke and so forth. This is what Tactic looks like on the homepage. You can see all of your meetings. This is a meeting we just did right over here. You also have some AI tools that you could explore, some action items, some different kits that you could create to use in real time in your meeting. And obviously you have your settings. You could also find your archive meetings if you have archived any meetings. And overall, very simple, very straightforward. This is Tactic for you guys.
Now, some people might be like, hey, this is very good. What about the pricing for all these softwares? Well, with Fireflies, it's free forever. Now, the only thing is that you have 800 minutes of recording time. Let's say you need more time. You have 8,000 for the Pro, which is $10 a month, and you're still limited. If you'd like unlimited storage, you could pay $19 for the business plan. And here you have unlimited transcription, unlimited storage, and you also get the video. And then the enterprise for large scale businesses for $39 a month, and you have every single feature that you could ever possibly need. Now, moving on to Blue Dot, you might be wondering, do I really need to pay $20 with Fireflies if I want video? Well, Blue Dot gives you video for free. Now, it does limit you to five meetings for the whole lifetime of the account and only an hour per recording. So let's say you'd like to have more than five meetings for the lifetime of that account. You can head over to the basic for $14 and here you have unlimited meetings. You're still limited to a certain amount of duration and so you can move over to Pro for $20 and here you have everything for the power users. You have unlimited meetings with video, you have unlimited duration or if you need every single feature and you'd like some cool integration like HubSpot, unlimited import, as well as, you know, topic trackers, which is coming soon. And we're going to be checking that out. You could pay $32 a month. Now, what about Tactic? Tactic gives you 10 transcripts per month for $0 for free. You could move over to Pro. You get it for $8. It's everything that's in free version. You get unlimited transcripts. Or you can move on to the team version for $16.70 a month, so about $17 right around there. And the only time that it starts getting slightly better is where you are able to start getting those admin controls. So here you can see that in the pro version, you're missing some of the admin controls. And then in the team, you start getting these two, the admin only team invites. You could enable magic link via email to sign in. And then for enterprise, you need to contact their sales team. And here they're gonna give you a specific price for your needs. And you get every single thing like a dedicated account manager, custom reports, advanced team spaces, and so forth. And so that was a whole breakdown with Fireflies.ai, Blue Dot, and Tactic. They're both three very interesting, similar, but also somehow different. Some are video, some are without. Softwares, AI note takers for your Google Meet meetings. Let us know in the comment section down below your favorite and which one you might start using. And if you found this breakdown, this review, this pricing useful, make sure to smash that like button so we know that you enjoy these videos and we have a lot more coming for you soon. So subscribe with notifications on to stay up to date. And we thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.